And then they may want to begin to think about how can they help the, the consumer from their home connection broadband standpoint. Right now, retailers aren't very good at selling services, broadband services, security services, but those are things that the, the consumer is looking for to be able to integrate everything into a solution for their home, and they want it individualized. Gotcha. So when we come back here to CES 2017, do you think do you see that potentially shifting? Do you think there will be a, you know an increase of uh, you know con consumers that are ready to cons actually consume 4K content? I think there'll be a lot more 4K content. I think they're dead. And then with the with the advent of uh, services like uh, Google Google Fiber, mm -hmm. where the, the the speed is going to go to a terabyte speed, it's going to make a, a magical difference in the in the experience for the for the content. And then the other things that will be connected in the home are going to go along with that. You have right. to have the broadband width in order to have the smart home, the 4K TV, integrated with everything that you that you want. Right. And so now you're starting to touch on the smarter. That's obviously something else we, we've seen a lot of here at, at uh, CES this week. So uh, what, what can you tell us about the IoT and, and smart yeah, home? Yeah, the IoT. The thing about the IoT and, and almost every retailer that we're doing business with and many, many manufacturers are are really trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, there's a big interest in the market from a consumer standpoint. 92% say that they, they're interested in a smart home product. The issue is, is that right now the challenge is, is the languages between the devices are not compatible. So there's always some type of hub that you need to be able to control that. And I think that's going to shake out in 2016. It's going to be a little bit more smooth and, and less of a, an issue as, as uh, one of these languages rise to the top and be kind, of, kind of become the standard. But every manufacturer that we deal with and most of the retailers right now are trying to figure that out. And I think they will. By the end of 2016, I think it'll be... Be there. It's, it's been interesting to watch. I, I mean, is there any uh, particular, I don't know, IoT product or anything like that? It's some sort of service that you've seen while you've been here that sort of there's a couple of like, things wow. that are there are a couple of things that are that are really interesting. There's there's a uh, uh, Intel has a button computer, so it's the size of a button. Wow! And it'll have the opportunity that anything that can be connected will be connected. And data in 2016, data is going to be king. Uh, whether you give your data or they collect your data, data is what's going to drive the sales and the individual experience for the for the person. So whether it's in your wearables, whether it's in your watch, whether it's in your fitness tracker, um, all those types of things are all going to be integrated and be able to talk to each other and collect data. And that it's it's going to be a, a, an amazing thing to watch. That's awesome. Well, Mark, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, you know, we're we're getting ready to wrap up here CES 2016 this week, and it's just been it's been a it's been Amazing. I don't know. Uh, there's not really any other word I can think of to describe CES. And there's just no experience. other industry like but, this. <laughs> no, it's crazy. But uh, thanks for taking the time to share some of your knowledge with us, and uh, we appreciate it. So, All right, thank you. For, for Tech Connect, I'm Rob Stott. Thanks for watching.